Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're going to be going over this battery tester by LNEX. Uh, this is a car battery analyzer or tester. It's good for 12 or 24 volt systems. Now what these are typically used for is to determine the health of your starting battery for your motorhome, your car, your truck, your motorcycle, what have you. Uh, this little guy is pretty much rated for batteries as, as small as 100 cranking, cold cranking amps all the way up to 2000 cold cranking amps so it can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. It can test a uh, cranking test, which is gonna tell you how the battery did while you were starting the engine to see how much power it was actually able to deliver. And it will also do a battery test to tell you the uh, state of health, the overall charge and capacity that your battery still has left. And also a charging test, which is basically to make sure that your alternator and charging system is charging the battery at the correct voltage. So you can kind of diagnose your system and figure out why your battery is not starting correctly. Um, very, very simple to use. This is good for all types of batteries. Let's see, it's good for flooded or lead acid batteries, AGM, gel, and also, what does that say? E EFB batteries. Um, it doesn't mention anything about lithium batteries, but I do a uh, control test using a lithium iron phosphate battery uh, in this test just to show you exactly how this kind of works. Um, so it's important that you set the cold cranking amps of your battery. That's gonna be on the top label of your starting battery. Um, so if it says 550 CCA, that's your cold cranking amps, and you're gonna type into this machine 550. And then it'll give you all the testing information that you need. For this test, this is a little 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery just for testing purposes. It has a cold cranking amps of about 113. Um, so for example, if I set this to 110, CCA, um, and then I test the battery, you can see that it's gonna say the battery's great, the state of health, which is SOH, state of health, um, is 100% great, the state of charge is 100% um, great, and uh, the voltage and everything is displayed there. Now, if I were to change the cold cranking amps, say up to 200, like the battery, if the battery was supposed to have 200, this battery's only gonna have 113. So we set it for 200, and now we're gonna assume that the battery's not performing well and only producing 113 cranking amps. We're gonna hit test. And now you can see that it's like warning. You're at like 32% state of health. You need to replace this battery. It's just not working very good. So um, it was it's very accurate in all my control testing, but let's take it out to the Jeep and actually test it out there and see what's going on. Um, so very easy to do. I just hooked up the two jumper cables to the battery itself and it will run you through all the directions. You can choose anything um, to make sure that you're dialed into your exact language, battery, etc. And basically I'm just going to hook this up and do a capacity load test. I had a cold cranking amps of 850 on this battery. So that's what I put into the machine. When I ran the test it said that it's good. My battery's still good. It has a voltage of 12.54 volts. It has um, out of 850 cranking amps, it had 719. So that's a little on the low side. And I can tell my battery's getting sluggish. Um, and my SOH, which is state of health, is 72%. Not great. Um, and my SOC is the state of charge, and that's at 89%. So this battery's good for now. It'll probably last me a while longer, but eventually it's gonna be time to replace this guy. Um, we're also gonna conduct another test where we actually test the um, charging system to make sure that the alternator is delivering the correct voltage. So it's gonna walk you through the directions. It basically says like start the engine, give it a rev, and it's gonna test all that stuff out for us. And it, um, it does, now what I did is I kinda also let, sorry, let me pick the right video here. I also let the um, engine kind of rev up and then when it came down, it almost stalled the engine because I did it kind of fast. And you can see here that we were doing fine at around 14 volts, but when it did finally dip down, uh, we got this warning from the machine and uh, it dipped all the way down to 13.05 volts, which it considers low for a running engine. And that's because mine almost stalled out. So everything works perfectly. And this can help you diagnose your uh, battery system, your electrical system, a very handy tool to have. This thing seems very well built. The screen's easy, the directions are easy. Um, it seems like it's a pretty good, a pretty good tool to me. So I will put the Amazon link down below if you're interested in one of these guys so you can check out the price and see if you want to add that to your toolkit. And that about wraps it up. If this video helped you out, please like, share, subscribe, and click that little notification bell. That really helps me out. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching.
and happy camping.